It's a really good thing in the last few months that we beefed up the server farm CDN systems of Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com because they're getting record traffic. We're breaking records every week here, but the Drudge Report is top linked uh, to our boil down from the great blogger and researcher we work with, George Washington Blogspot, who just kind of collated the mainstream news articles in different places that they're breaking down the fallout uh, and the U.S. being in the fallout path. We're going to be beefing that article up with some fallout maps, some jet stream maps, uh, some links to live satellite jet stream patterns. Uh, we're going to be really beefing that article up. Obviously, InfoWars is crawling a bit right now. we got the IT guys on it. It takes about a minute to get online at InfoWars.com because so many hundreds of thousands of folks are trying to hit it every 10 minutes. A lot of it because of Drudge Report. Let me tell you something, folks. I can go on Nightline. I can be all over national TV. No problem with our servers. Drudge Report, I mean, it, it's, it's just hammers us because nothing. I can be on Huffington Post, ABC News, no response. Drudge, your site is hammered. There's nothing. It's like the Death Star of bandwidth. It, it will destroy planets in its, in its path. Uh, but we are handling it right now. An important fallout news. Aaron Dykes is going to be adding to that article, beefing it uh, on top of uh, George Washington's article, a Blogspot article. We're going to be adding the maps and things. This is something I asked my writers to do on Saturday, uh, and they've mainly just been collating the data, but we're going to be going extensively into the fallout maps. As more reactors, it looks like, are going to melt down, and as the Japanese uh, basically continue their ongoing cover-up. But it is admitted that Fukushima 1 did melt down. The question is how bad. Uh, CVT in Washington, then Lawrence, Joe, Barron, Robert, and Chris. I'm going to try to at least get to all of you. CVT, you're on the air. Yeah, I would just like to start out saying uh, I really appreciate your uh, news broadcast here. It's the only way I get the real truth. Dittos to you, brother. What's on your mind? Well, we have a, we're in Washington, and I've been talking to my family, and, I, and they say, well, I can't do anything about it, so what am I supposed to do? Biggest issue. I'm actually coming. So they just automatically right say, "Hey, I shouldn't talk to my medical doctor about taking iodine from kelp, which is already good for you to begin with. It's you know over-the-counter vitamins, minerals." They're just like, "Okay, I'll just." Again, it's an attitude. Since when did Americans turn into people that just give in and give up to everything? The '70s, because uh, that's when they really got their hopes dashed to protesting against Vietnam. But that's beside the point. My other point is, is um, Washington, California, Oregon, and Hawaii are some of the breadbaskets of our nation. We're going to get our food from there. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to the food supply? Well, Hawaii is more south. It is not anywhere in line for any fallout, and I appreciate your call. This is, even of all six sorry, six at one plant and five others. If all 11 plants blew up, it'll be a lot of radiation. It'll be bad, but it's not going to kill everybody overnight. Uh, you, there'll be more deformities, you'll get more cancers that pop up, like folks in the areas in Nevada had increased cancers from nuclear testing. They said, oh, it's good for you, don't worry. Uh, you know, it's like Madame Curie died of radiation sickness. She invented uh, x-rays. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's a bad situation. But if you just take iodine, the proper type, it'll protect the key area of your body. Uh, let's talk to uh, Lawrence in Virginia. Go ahead, Lawrence. Mr. Jones. Hey. Uh, thank you very much for your show. With you. No you need to thank about. me. Let's move quick. Go ahead, my friend. What's on your mind? Two quick things. I participated in the ground war in 1991 in Desert Storm. Uh, bottom line is the government will lie to you. Uh, I've been in the Air Force before that. I, I, knew, I knew about defeated Iranian weapons, but I didn't know how dangerous they were until somebody informed me uh, prior to going to Desert Storm. Uh, You're not even supposed to sit on the Abrams Sabo rounds in the iron in the aluminum cases in the tank. You're not even supposed to sit on them because there's so much radiation per hour it fries your testicles. Sorry, go ahead. That's in the army manual. Yes, it is. And um, by the grace of God, I'm still healthy. Well, the point I'm, yeah. go ahead. Well, the point I really want to make is that in light of these. Uh, the government not wanting to license any more coal reactors. I mean, not coal, we have coal plants. Yes, that's in the news. They're going to shut those babies down. And now Lieberman's saying no nuclear power. So I guess we're not going to have anything. <laughs> well, I suggest that everybody that knows what's going on 
tried to contact the congressman and the Senate, and even though, I, to, my, to the best of my knowledge, this was not done with the consent of the Congress or the Senate, but I think it would be in our best interest to try to contact uh, elected representatives and see if they can, if you can force them to do something, because we're going to be in bad shape. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're shutting, uh, they've already announced no new coal plants, and quote, they're going to, here's Obama Energy Secretary promises massive coal plant closures in the next two years, and Obama promised in the campaign to, quote, bankrupt coal. And coal isn't perfect, baby, but it's 51% of our power. The wind cannot do it. It's, wind is 21 times less efficient. It's a joke. It's a joke. Joe in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. How are you? Good. Go ahead, sir. We love you. All right. A few things, a few points, topics. People here on the West Coast need to get proactive. You need to get with your government. You need to have them use the radiological detectors to go out and test the air for you. You need to start doing this as soon as possible. Get them conditioned. Yeah, well, I haven't looked at the... I mean, the jet stream can move from 60 to 200 miles an hour, but on average... Uh, it, it, uh, we're not even sure all of this is going to get up into the jet stream, and, and that's the great news. Uh, but uh, it should be hitting in the next two to four days. We should start getting readings from the one plant that's blown up. I have radiological detectors, every one of them. Okay? My second point here, Alex, is that um, there has been a great corporate media meltdown. Okay? It's confirmed. Okay? I've been watching it happen, I've been noting it, and I've been documenting it. These people are not giving us real information, okay? They're, they're covering up, you know, when the, when the thing blew up, they're giving us, BBC is reporting over and over again, they're showing tsunami pictures, and, and they're giving us, you know, uh, commercials. No, no, they said that it fell over. The Japanese government said, oh, the containment building fell in, but the reactor's fine. The thing blew up like a 50,000-pound bomb was dropped on it. I mean, literally, folks, when they drop a 4,000 or 8,000-pound bomb, I've seen the Iraq footage. It looks nothing like that. This was just the whole building. Boom! I mean, that was a giant building. Gone. I, I, I hear you, Lawrence. Uh, 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 you're awesome. we got to move quick here. Joe in California, you're on the air. Okay, I already went to Joe. Sorry. Barron in Alabama, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Actually, my name is Baron. We spoke a couple times already. Welcome. Basically, you answered one of my questions already before about, <clears throat> about ordering potassium iodate. My main question now, a little more complicated, you may want to get into it tomorrow. So basically, uh, the bottom line is, do you, do you think that there's any globalist hand in what happened as far as it relates to the economy? Because... They're talking about how, excuse me, Japan, the economy, the Nikkei is already looking down 2% in futures before the market opens. Now, Yes, this happens, will drag the world economy down further, just like the turmoil in the Middle East. The good news was the Muslim Brotherhood Day of Rage was not as bad as they said it was going to be in Saudi Arabia. Uh, uh, and Muammar Gaddafi is, is defeating the globalists right now, one devil defeating other devils. But yes, this will drag down the world economy. There is no doubt this will be another problem. Uh, my, my larger question was in the sense that you, you have Lindsey Williams on talking about how basically the euro would pop before the dollar, right? So the money coming out of Japan, whether it's stocks or bonds or whatever it may be, that's got to go somewhere. Now, commodities pulled back the last couple of days. So where, where do you, my question is, you may want to get into this tomorrow, but where do you think that, that, that this could drive that if Japan pulls us? Well, I mean, I've been, I've, been, I've been following what analysts I, I, I admire are saying, and they think it'll overall be a further drag on the world economy. I appreciate your call. It's really too early to tell, but uh, Japan is the greatest industrial center in the world per square mile. Uh, it has the highest IQ per citizen worldwide, uh, by the way. Uh, and uh, it is a real engine of industry and innovation. And uh, it is in deep trouble. But I th humans do well under incredible stress and adversity, though. I mean, they had atomic bombs dropped on them, folks. I think the Japanese are going to come back stronger out of this in the end. It, it is adversity that makes us strong, as Victor Hugo, the French philosopher, said. Uh, adversity makes men. Prosperity makes monsters. We have been prosperous in America so long, we've become decadent monsters. Our forebears went through living Hades to come here, 
uh, and that's why they were such men. Uh, and so pray for Japan, but as Nietzsche said, that which does not kill us only makes us stronger. And as Mark Twain said in the beginning, a patriot is a scarce man, hated, feared, and scorned. But in time when his cause succeeds, the Tim had joined him because then it cost nothing to be a patriot. The Tim had joined him because then it cost nothing to be a patriot. See you back live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, InfoWars.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.